In this video, I want to walk through a program called Tmux. What is Tmux? The project wiki for Tmux says, Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. It lets you switch easily between several programs in one terminal, detach them, and then they keep running in the background, and reattach them to a different terminal. So I'm going to go over both of these concepts here, this first part, allowing you to switch uh, easily between several programs in one terminal. If you consider what tabbed browsing did for for web browsers like this, right, where you can have multiple tabs for different content with just one window, that's basically what Tmux does for terminals. You can see here I can launch Sigwin and just managing just the position of these terminals is tricky, let alone uh, switching between them and running different programs. You can see that, right? So let's. I'm going to launch. Um, I'm going to launch Tmux here, and we'll walk through what Tmux can do. Just a few simple commands to get you started. So we've launched. We're launching Tmux, and you can see that it's still sort of this blank black screen, but down here we've got this green status bar. At the beginning here of the line you've got an index here for the session. There's multiple sessions. If you don't name, uh, our Tmux can have multiple sessions. If you don't name them, you automatically get an index. The next uh, part here indicates which window you have, and right now we only have one, zero, and it's by default, if you don't name the particular window, it just shows you what program is running in that window. So here we have the program bash is running. The star here beside it indicates that it's the active window. When you want to give a command to Tmux, so once you've launched Tmux and you want to give it a command, if you hit Control B and to create a new window, you type C. So to create a new window, you do the prefix and then you hit C. And now you notice, I'm not totally sure why it says Tmux. Actually, it does say bash there. It was Tmux for a moment. So you can see that we've got two, two windows here. If we want to switch between, so let's just say second window. If we want to switch to the first window, we hit the, the command prefix, control B, and then we hit the index of the window. So we'll hit zero. Within these window, within windows, you can have panes. You can split either horizontally or vertically. When so, in order to do a horizontal split, you'll hit the command prefix, and then hit the percent sign. And you notice that now we have a terminal over here and a terminal here. If we want to split that vertically, then we do the prefix, and then we hit. Uh, double quotes to split it. To switch between panes, you'll hit your prefix, so control B, and then say if I want to go from here up, I just hit the up arrow. So if you want to move from window to window, just do the prefix and then the arrow key. If you want to resize a pane, hit the prefix, and while holding down the control key, press the arrow in which you want to expand the pane. So you can see how this one, I moved that up, this border up, and made the pane larger. I can similarly move this border across, hit the prefix, holding down the control key, and press that arrow key. If you want to speed that up, you can do the prefix and then hold down Alt while using the arrow key. If you want to reset these panes so that they're evenly distributed, hit the prefix and then sh hit Shift E. And actually, you might have to do that twice. So that, that one worked that way. Let's try that again. And that also then uh, evened it out horizontally. You can rename windows. See how this window is named bash right now. We had talked about that where it's the current program that's running. We can hit the prefix, hit comma, and you can rename that with whatever you want to call it. So let's call that first window. And if we wanted to create another window, so that would be prefix C, we can then do 
uh, prefix comma and type in the other window name. So let's go back to the first window. The um, We've just touched on a, a, a small set of commands. If you want to see the full a full list, one way to do that is hit the prefix and then the question mark. And you'll notice here that we've got a whole bunch listed. If you want to get out of that, just hit Q. And again, to get back in, prefix, question mark. You can see here where um, it's got, this is the prefix and then the command. Now notice how it says here CA, and I've been saying control B, that's the default. Tmux can be configured um, in various ways, and one of them is you can configure the prefix, and, and then often the prefix is mapped to control A. A lot of people prefer that over control B. So whatever you have it mapped in your window, it probably says C dash B. That just means control B. And then the following command is listed here, the description. Yeah, let's just shut everything down here. And you notice how I'm just doing a control D and I finally got out of there. And I'm gonna go back to the project wiki. And so we've we've shown how it can how you can switch easily between several programs in one terminal. The second part here to detach them. Let's go over an example of that just to close out the video here. Let's I'm gonna launch Tmux. And I'm going to CD into a dev project that I've got. And this is just a sample just to do this demonstration. I'm going to split the windows. I'm going to get, let's get Vim running here. And I'm going to start up a PHP server here. And up here, we're just going to leave this open. Maybe let's run top. And, um, and then maybe we would leave this open for, in theory, maybe running git or something, if we want to use the command line in any way. Let's bring up, so we've got uh, PHP running on localhost 9000. Let's bring that up. And so here we can see if I click on these links, we can see that we've got some activity in the log, okay? And if we now, so this idea of this idea of detaching from the session, imagine you had something like this set up at work, you're logged into a server and you want to go home and then reattach to the session. Well, how would you do that? You do that by hitting the prefix and then hitting D. And notice how it notice how it's detached from the session. We can even exit out of here. And meanwhile, maybe there's still some more traffic on our, our app there. And let's, so, but let's launch Tmux again. So say you get home from work or a different location, you log into the server and you, sit, you hit Tmux attach. And notice how everything is still running. We got top running and notice that we still have the log here of some access that happened while we weren't attached. You know, those are the two things that Tmux does that helps you out in your workflow, uh, whether it's the, uh, for me, I actually use it for development where I'll, I'll have an editor open and I've got other windows or other panes, or that concept of maybe you're doing administration on the server, you want to detach from that server or from that instance or that session, and you want to reattach at a later point, you can have long running tasks running that, meaning you can log off of the server and still have those tasks running. You could be logged in and you lose your network connection. Uh, your SSH connection goes away for some reason. You can simply just log back into the server and attach to Tmux. So I hope that this video shows you um, how valuable Tmux is. Uh, there's lots of resources out there. You know, you can check out the wiki. Um, Tmux is highly configurable. And so I might end up making a, another video about that just to show you how to change uh, certain things. So hopefully you found this helpful.